Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Elena, and today we are doing another foundation review. I cannot keep up with all of these foundations coming out. They are literally coming out left and right, but you guys highly requested me to review this product so I definitely want to be able to get it out to you guys so we are reviewing the new Pat McGrath foundation and this one I'm really looking forward to just because it is by Pat McGrath she is such a legendary makeup artist and this product was a little bit of money honey she it was expensive so we're going to be doing a wear test on this foundation we're going to be doing a tutorial so make sure you keep on watching if you want to find out about the new pat mcgrath foundation i just been balling out every season no it's because i left in the breeze i just been married to double cup i gotta pull me a four inside so you guys i finally got my hands on the new pat mcgrath foundation i really have been looking forward to testing this product out because i love pat mcgrath and i love a lot of her products and yes so here she is this is the outer packaging of the foundation which i am loving i'm loving the whole black and gold vibe that it's giving off it's definitely giving more modern vibes to it very sleek very simple but very luxurious so i'm loving the packaging of this and then when you open it up you have the foundation inside honey this is so freaking bougie but you just go ahead and pull her out just like this and then you have the foundation and this is what she is looking like as you can see she has the little gold tab on it it just says pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime perfection foundation and i picked up the shade medium deep 24 and another thing that i noticed about the foundation is it does have quite a bit of weight to it especially with it being a 68 dollars foundation i mean it definitely has the looks packaging that you look for it has the frosted glass and everything i love the gold and black packaging like i said and it's just very simple definitely giving us that looks pat mcgrath feel that you get from all of her products so i really do like this packaging but i don't really know if it'll be the best kind of foundation to travel with but if you're the type of person that likes to bring your foundations with you on trips and stuff like that this is a glass bottle and it is very heavy so i don't know if this would be the particular item that you would want to travel with you but it definitely is a product that will be very pretty on your vanity so like i said this product does retail for 68 dollars and honey she is expensive that is definitely on the higher end of foundations and i really hope that this foundation is going to do something for me because 68 dollars Honey, you're going to have to save your coins to pick this up because that is a lot of money for a foundation. So the claims for this foundation is it is a buildable perfecting coverage. It has a weightless texture, a sublime satin finish. It is runway tested, mother approved. It has a universal formula for all skin types. It's oil free, paraben free and fragrance free and this foundation does have 1.18 fluid ounces we're just about to go ahead and put her on i'm really excited to see how much coverage this foundation is going to give us if it is really buildable and if it's going to give us that flawless dewy satin finish so it does have a pump but i don't know if you guys can see but it does have a really runny texture to it so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my face so so far right off the bat it is giving a really nice coverage so i do notice too that it does have more of a lightweight finish to it. It doesn't feel as heavy on the face as some foundations. It's definitely blending very nicely. Like you can definitely tell that it is very easy to blend. I do really like this color match. It definitely is fragrance free. And as I see it like wearing on the face, I do see that it does have 
that satin finish. So this is the foundation fully blend out and overall I really do like how this is sitting on my skin. It feels very airy, it feels very lightweight. I'm loving the finish of it. It's definitely giving us that satin radiant finish that I like. It is a little bit to a light to medium coverage I would say. This is definitely a little less coverage than I normally like but I'm actually not mad about it. I feel like this foundation would just look beautiful on an everyday basis just because it's so lightweight and it just almost looks like my skin and I'm really kind of liking that. I know if I just add a little bit of concealer and powder and everything that it would just look almost so natural on. It feels so lightweight. It's giving me that radiance that I like in foundations and I just love how comfortable that it is feeling on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and see how everything lays on top and then I'm going to show you guys what the foundation looks like with everything on and then we're going to go ahead and start this wear test and everything so we can see how this foundation wears throughout the day. So I'm finally back with all of my makeup on and this is what the foundation is looking like so far so overall I think the foundation looks really good but personally I can tell that it is not as full coverage as I would like it to be just because I'm the type of person that likes to have an all or nothing type thing so it's like either you about to see me full beat or you're about to see me with absolutely nothing on. I'm not really in to that in between stage. For me, this is giving me light to medium coverage. I think it's more geared towards, like I said earlier, people who want to wear this on a daily basis and have that more natural skin-like finish. And that is what it is giving me so far. So this is how all the products were laying on top. It is really beautiful, but I just feel like it needs a little bit more oomph to it. I also think that it is giving me a little bit more texture to my skin. I don't normally have that bad of a texture or anything, but I do feel like since it's such a light to medium coverage that it is emphasizing texture for some reason. I also noticed with this foundation that it is kind of settling in my smile lines just a little bit and that does happen to me sometimes just depending on which foundation it is. Um, it also is kind of settling in the crevices of my nose so and we haven't even started the wear test yet so I do notice that and I feel like that's just because it is more of a runnier consistency so it is settling into my fine lines but this is what it's looking like so far I've had this on for about an hour an hour and 30 minutes and it's about I think it's about five o'clock so we're gonna go ahead and get right into this wear test I'm gonna wear it for at least six to eight hours just to see how this will hold up with me doing some things running some errands for a little bit and then I will come back I will check in and show you what the foundation is looking like so I will see you guys when I check back in okay so I'm back with the update on the wear test I've literally had this on for eight hours it is literally one o'clock in the morning I don't know if you guys can see that but it's 1 19 and your girl is so tired so while I've been wearing this foundation I have ran errands I have been out I have taken pictures I have done so many things and this is what the foundation is looking like so far so I don't know if you guys can see we are definitely very oily in this region of our face just right up around my nose and around my mouth but everywhere else like around the cheek area the forehead and the chin it looks really good just right here as you see I'm really oily right here and right here but other than that it looks pretty good now um, it did wear really nicely throughout the day. Um, I didn't have any problems. I'm not a person that touches up makeup or anything. Like, if it's on, it's on. I do notice that it is a lot more dewier than I would prefer on a regular day basis. And I would think somebody with oily skin, you might want to stay away from this foundation or you have to prep it really well. So if you do have oily skin, I would say do a really good prep with a mattifying primer and it might hold up 
good for you but for me with dry skin this is what it's looking like and it doesn't look that bad overall i feel like the foundation is really good it's definitely going to come down to if you like a more natural finish or if you like more of a fuller coverage foundation now if you're really looking for a natural foundation something that's for a day-to-day -day and easy to throw on then i would recommend this product if you're looking for more of a full beat glam, like you are trying to slay for the gods, then no, I would not recommend this product to you just because there are a lot more foundations that can give you that overall full beat flawless look than this one and don't get me wrong this foundation is flawless but it's more of a natural flawless look so if that is what you're looking for then this would definitely be a good foundation for you but it's definitely going to be personal preference so i hope you guys enjoyed this video your girl is tired and I'm literally about to take off my makeup and go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Bye.